Inflation is a looming threat to Pakistan's economy with double digit figures of more than 30% each month it is causing concern among policy makers and businesses as well to tackle this challenge understanding the root cause of inflation is crucial through effective policies and measures Pakistan can mitigate the impact of inflation and ensure sustainable economic growth before going to causes of inflation in Pakistan let's know the types of inflation we are facing on all types of inflation i'll make a separate video but for now we will only discuss the types which our country is facing currently first is currency devaluation inflation second is cost push inflation third is inflation due to increased money supply and fourth is food inflation let's discuss each of them currency gets strength if a country possesses handsome foreign reserve shows a favorable balance of trade or there is a huge demand for that currency in international market due to the negative trend in all of these pakistani rupee plunged to the lowest ever value in history with more than 60% loss of value in just one year Moreover, disruption in the international economy due to Russia-Ukraine war added the fuel to fire. Biggest impact of devaluation of rupee is rise in prices of imports. Necessary imports in Pakistan like fuel, edible oil, medicines and chemicals are becoming expensive. Recent hike in petrol prices is glaring example of it. Only imports of fuel cost us nearly 30 billion dollars as per government claims, while according to Pakistan Bureau of Statistics it remained almost 23 billion dollars. So, inevitable and consistent import of fuel is draining our foreign reserves. This sudden fall is reason of many economic evils discussed in previous video then comes cost push inflation rising prices of fuel and imported raw material has increased cost of production these prices were increased in international market due to disruption in supply chain during pandemic but import ban for some months early this year also did damages now in pakistan consumer price index year on year basis is maintaining the abnormal value of 30% then comes our badly designed tax system pakistan heavily depends upon indirect taxes indirect taxes accounts for almost 60% of total taxes collected which ultimately increases cost of production and this burden shifts to public now inflation due to increased money supply money supply mostly comes from printing of money or internal loans pakistan's internal loans have reached 31 trillion rupees as per state bank report which has been a major cause of increased money supply in economy but in pakistan mostly velocity of money comes from black money and undeclared incomes state bank claims that informal or undocumented economy of pakistan is not more than 30% but some international reports claim it to be 40% and some suggest that it has reached as high as 70% this is why most of the transactions in pakistan done in cash last is food inflation despite having a huge agriculture sector food production in pakistan is very low annual food inflation in march 2023 was around 50% one of the major reasons is no use of genetically modified seeds and modern techniques according to food and agriculture organization the average wheat yield per acre in pakistan is around 2.9 metric tons in contrast to 3.2 metric tons in india for rice it is around 2.5 metric tons in pakistan against 3.5 metric tons in india this data is based based on study from 2019 to 2021 for now this gap is even larger then due to climate change pakistan often faces droughts floods and unpatterned rains this is destroying our agriculture and eventually due to lower production prices increase around 8.3 million acres of crops have destroyed in recent floods next is uncontrolled organized cartels like sugar vegetable oil and wheat mafia powerful mafia artificially creates demand by holding supplies irony is that these cartels could never be in control of any government since independence despite such alarming situations political parties in pakistan most of the time remain engaged with power saddle and dissolution of government so prices control through good governance remains unattended this inflation is badly affecting our country with negative growth in every sector some major impacts are rising cost of production poverty unemployment due to cost cut decreasing demand and less spending mental stress to public social turmoil and rise in crimes now see what government can do actually pakistan is tackling inflation with wrong instrument and what is that let's have a look if there is increased money supply in economy the central bank increases rate of interest so loans become expensive and saving become attractive as it give more profit now hence due to low cash in hand spendings decrease and inflation gets in control this is most famous monetary tool the state bank of pakistan is using the same tool to control 
money. Here, it will never work because money supply in Pakistan is not due to printing money or government spendings, but it is because of velocity of money by other means like foreign remittances and undocumented economy. Foreign remittances of nearly $30 billion encourage spending and cannot be controlled. Besides it, our gigantic undocumented money is mostly used in form of cash, so it cannot be controlled by formal monetary tools. Next, devaluation of rupee can be halted with healthy foreign reserves, which are only possible with positive flows of dollars in country. It is explained in one of the previous videos. Pakistan's economy desperately needs capital inflows and foreign investment. This not just brings businesses to country, but also creates environment of trust for other industries. Then, to control the biggest part of imports, Pakistan needs proactive foreign policy to get discounted fuel from other countries like Russia and Iran. Then, to reduce the unnecessary burden of indirect taxes on public, Pakistan has to widen its tax net. This work needs to be started on emergency basis as it is reducing the purchasing power of general public. Now is the time that we start making substitutes for imports in our country. Not all, but most of the goods we import can be produced in our country. For example, almost 86% of edible oil consumption in country comes from imports. Government should encourage such industries by giving them subsidies and tax exemptions. Then also, political stability is needed for good governance and to control the mafia in country. Last, agriculture sector needs immediate attention as it is not just food provider but a large number of people are employed through it. Watch my previous video for its details. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more videos like this.